Hi, third and fourth graders. Happy Earth Day. April 22nd is Earth Day. And I'm going to show you a project that will kind of be sort of fun, but also teach you something about Earth Day and about recycling in that process. So I'm going to move this a little closer here. And you're going to need a pair of scissors and a pencil and something to color with. It can be oil pastels or crayons, um, markers or paints or something. And then some notebook paper. You just need one sheet of notebook paper, really. Okay. And then we're going to cut this notebook paper. I'm going to fold it into fourths, quarters. And then unfold it and cut it apart. And you're going to be using three of these rectangles. Um, so you have one extra, one spare, in case you make a mistake. Okay? So, April 22nd is Earth Day. And Earth Day is a day when we're supposed to stop and reflect on what the Earth gives to us and how it is we can help the earth to be healthy, the planet earth. So the natural things in earth that we cannot recreate if we destroy them. So things like plants and trees and, and animals and the environment and the air and the water that help keep all those things alive. So the very first thing we're going to do is in the center of this paper, not using up too much space because we're going to need the space around it. You're going to make the best circle that you can. And it's okay if it's not perfect. Okay. And then we're going to make an interesting picture of the earth. So I'm just going to make some green spaces that to me symbolize the continents. All right. I'm just doing some land space, and then the water, the land, the water, going around it like this. Okay, and then we're going to use a different blue in here. Get more round as I get to the edge so that it looks somewhat like Earth. I'm going to kind of blend. And then one of the things that I've noticed with pictures of Earth from space is that they typically show cloud formations and things like that. So I'm just going to use some white in kind of a swirly form. And here and there, so that it looks pretty. All right. And it looks like a sphere. All right, now, that's my Earth, my beautiful planet, right? So, the next part is I want, I want to share with you the, a symbol that is about recycling. It's a, it's, a, we're gonna, it's a triangle, and the words that go with it are reduce, recycle, and reuse. So the way that this symbol works, and you may have seen this symbol before, is it's kind of a, a shape like this that looks like it has an arrow here. It looks like three arrows put together in a triangle. Okay, so I'm going to show you on my computer what it looks like. See that symbol? If you see that symbol on uh, items that you buy at a store, you, you know that the materials were made in some way, shape, or form. They were made out of recycled materials. Okay, so I'm going to put that shape into, into my picture here. Right. And it's okay if you don't want to make 
three-dimensional arrows. You could just put kind of triangle arrows there. But I like that shape. I think it's cool. So I'm going to put another one here. And there's just the three of them. Okay, and you can look that picture up. If you Google recycling, you'll see that um, symbol. Um, you can even Google recycling symbol and you'll see, you'll find that symbol. Okay, I'm going to make it darker here with marker now that I like the way it looks. And then you can see it better as well. And it is typically show it typically shows up in the color green because green is a symbol of uh, earth's health it's a symbol of earth friendly things when something is considered to be green it's considered to be earth friendly um, and natural okay. so not man-made so there's my triangle typically those Three, three arrows would be closer together to be the recycling symbol. Um, I also can color in those triangles so that they look more green and they look more like the symbol for Earth Day. Um, and I'm just going to color in one so you can kind of see that, what that would look like. Right? Then, now, our next part is we're going to talk about what, I'm going to make these a little smaller so they fit, talk about what those three arrows stand for and put some information next to each one. All right. So there is no kind of beginning and end to this. It works in a secular form. So you have, it's a cycle, right? Um, None of them are more important than the other. None of these arrows. One of them stands for recycle. This is one way that you can help the earth um, to be healthy, is to recycle. And what recycle means is that after you've used something that is man-made, for instance, plastic or glass or uh, metal of any kind, that you recycle it so that you take the material that it's made out of and melt it down or burn it down or chop it down to the point where you can create new material out of that old material. So you could make a new form of plastic out of old pieces of plastic you can take glass and break it down and melt it down and then form new bottles out of that glass. That's recycling. So it's taking something used and creating something new from it, some new material from it. So uh, I'm going to write that. Taking something new. Taking something new. Or taking something used, rather. And making something new from the material. All right, now, up here, I'm gonna, I would glue that down, so I guess we need glue too. Um, up here, as an extra thing, I could do some examples of what things that can be recycled, right? Bottles can be recycled, cans can be recycled, metal, plastic, right? You could have some symbols like that. Okay, the next thing is to reuse. That's another way that we can help the earth and think about that on Earth Day. Like, what is something that you can reuse that you can, this year, between now and the next Earth Day, what are some things that you can reuse that will help the earth? Because if everybody did it, the earth would be a healthier place. So reuse is different than recycle because what you do is you take something, take something that, um, taking something used,
and using that same item for a new purpose. So for instance, taking a milk carton and putting a hole in it and creating some sort of bird feeder. Or um, taking some wood that used to be used for an old barn and making, um, you know, using it for the walls of your house, right? Building something out of used materials, reusing those materials. So it's like taking something used and using it for a new purpose. You know, there's a lot of ways to create art out of used materials, to reuse things um, in an art form. For instance, if you tried the flower art that we made, there were, um, we were using magazine pieces and making a collage that's reusing those materials. But it would otherwise be thrown away and put into the garbage. So recycle, reuse, and reduce. Okay. If you reduce, you're using less of something. So I'm going to say use less of a material. So maybe uh, you want to make an effort to use less plastic or use less metal or use less water. Be brushing your teeth, make sure you're turning off the water while you're brushing. And then just turn it back on and rinse your toothbrush. Um, using less heat in your house in the winter time. Uh, using less plastic is a big one because plastics are a problem. So that's a good one to try and to really think about how it is you use plastic and, and if there's less of it that you could use. So I put some examples of recycling material over here. I could reuse, I could show something that I could reuse and I could show like a can here. You see that can here, I could punch a hole in it, make a birdhouse out of it, right? show an example of reusing something. Reducing, I might show a faucet, right, with the water coming out, and show that I could redo, re, reduce the amount of water that I use. So, in order to finish this up, I would want to color these green, I would want to glue these down, maybe color my, um, my examples and then it would be through. So happy Earth Day, and be sure to get outside today and enjoy that Earth and really appreciate the beautiful place we live. Talk to you later, bye.